Welcome back to Arthritis Now. I'm your host, Kyle Langan, and this week we're going to be talking to Dr. George Caliolius at the Hospital for Special Surgery in New York and his work in rheumatoid arthritis. Hi, Dr. Caliolius. Thank you so much for being on Arthritis Now with us. We appreciate your time. It is my pleasure being with you. Great. Yeah, it's great to see you. And, and what kind of got you started or interested in arthritis research in the first place? It was a coincidence or it was something that had to do with uh, the general environment when I was finishing my medical studies. So it was the period that uh, uh, the first biologics were generated. I graduated from medical school in the mid-90s, and it was just the period that uh, uh, biologic agents that now are well known as anti-TNFs or other monoclonal antibodies against uh, cytokines and other factors that were just uh, came that just came out, and uh, it was the first impressive uh, results in patients and this was really a revolutionary change in uh, treatment of patients and this attracted my interest and I start wondering something good is going on here so let's see how uh, this can be explained at the molecular level and maybe try to identify more treatments for these patients. You kind of jumped in at that early stage to kind of capitalize on the success. And then I of course I picked up uh, the rheumatology as my specialty, so I was trained in internal medicine and then I did my fellowship in uh, rheumatology and uh, later I was really focused on uh, treatment uh, and uh, pathogenesis of rheumatoid arthritis. So you were recently funded by the Arthritis National Research Foundation. Can you tell us um, in layman's terms the nature of what your research is or what you're, what you're working on? First of all, I want to thank uh, Arthritis National Research Foundation. It is a great uh, uh, help and a great support for young investigators to have this funding from your foundation. And uh, actually, my research is focused on uh, understanding new pathways uh, for um, uh, the pathogenesis of rheumatoid arthritis. If we look carefully, what treatments we have already uh, uh, been approved are primarily drugs that target uh, immune cells. Mm -hmm. So all the biologics we have, all the kinase inhibitors primarily block uh, pathways implicated in the activation of immune cells. And despite the very efficient immunosuppression we give to the patient with these drugs, uh, the patients don't go in remission. So that means that new treatment targets, new cellular targets should be identified. And my research is focusing on a new uh, cellular potential target in rheumatoid arthritis, that it is the synovial fibroblast. Uh, synovial fibroblast is a cell that it is uh, a resident cell, normally present in the normal joint, in the synovium, in the stroma of the joint, but during the pathogenesis of disease become activated and then crosstalks with immune system and there is a vicious circle of this crosstalk between immune cells and uh, fibroblasts that perpetuates inflammation. So my research, the general goal is that I am trying to identify molecular pathways on fibroblasts uh, that are activated during the pathogenesis of rheumatoid arthritis, hoping that we will find a way to target these pathways and in this way uh, work as an adjuvant to the existing immunosuppressive therapies. And so how do you see your work translating, translating into like the patient population? You know, like um, how do you hope that the research that you're doing will kind of help to improve their diseases in the future? I envision that uh, uh, by identifying new molecular pathways in new cellular types like the fibroblasts, will uh, actually supplement uh, the existing therapies, hopefully without adding side effects. Uh, my research is focused on the way synovial fibroblasts are responding to inflammatory stimuli. And what more specifically I'm looking for is how genes are turned on and turned off. Thanks for watching part one of our interview with Dr. George Caliolius. 
Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out at curearthritis.org for all the latest updates on arthritis research. And don't forget to share this video on Facebook and Twitter to help spread arthritis awareness.